and welcome to CADEX TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. Today is Friday, June 29th, 2012, the uh, last business day of the second quarter of 2012. The United States Supreme Court affirmed the constitutionality of President Obama's Affordable Health Care Act. The uh, vote was five to four. Contrary to expectations, it was Chief Justice John Roberts who provided the critical swing vote. Most people had assumed that it would be Justice Anthony Kennedy. Justice Kennedy voted uh, for the uh, unconstitutionality, if you will, of the whole bill. So President Obama is sitting pretty. The Colorado wildfire, over which President Obama will be flying later today on an inspection trip, is uh, raging still out of control. It's claimed its first life now. It's forced the evacuation of 35,000 people. It's threatening the United States Air Force Academy campus in Colorado Springs. Uh, the uh, Colorado authorities are now saying that 346 houses have been completely destroyed. The fire in Waldo Canyon is now one of 40 large, uncontained wildfires being fought across the United States, the bulk of them out west. Montana, Wyoming, Utah, Idaho, South Dakota, etc. are all being inundated by uh, wildfires at the moment. Meanwhile, in the northeastern United States, the temperature in the New York, New Jersey uh, metropolitan area is expected to reach a heat index of about 102 degrees today. Well, we may have seen a breakthrough of some sorts in Europe after 18 disappointing summits. It does seem as if the European leaders meet every two weeks. Um, the leadership of Europe this morning appears to have finally come up with a set of short-term measures and long-term plans that show that they're serious about dealing with their debt problems. Uh, they have in fact put together a uh, common response which is going to provide money to banks from one entity, one European entity, rather than loaning the money out to individual countries to have them loan the money out to banks. Uh, the money is going to come from a European entity and it's going to be supervised by a European entity. Um, the European Council President uh, called it a breakthrough. The decision is a victory for Spain and Italy, which would have had to have borrowed the money from the Europeans to loan to the banks, which would have lead, led to near unsustainable debt levels for them. But now, because the money is going to come directly from the European Central Community, that intermediate step is going to stop. Uh, German Chancellor Angela Merkel is likely to face a grilling from a very skeptical uh, German parliament back in uh, Berlin. Six members of China's Uyghur minority group apparently attempted to, quote, violently hijack a plane flying from a restive city in the far western Xinjiang region of China this morning, but crew members overpowered them with passenger assistance and managed to return the plane back to the uh, city of Hotan. Um, Bermuda seems now to be off the hook uh, in terms of Warren Buffett having fired the uh, CEO of the Benjamin Moore Paint Company. Benjamin Moore is owned by Berkshire Hathaway, Mr. Buffett's conglomerate. We had reported that uh, the former CEO of Dennis Abrams had been fired after a yachting party that had been uh, put together for performers of the Benjamin Moore Paint Company upon a successful first quarter. And Mr. Buffett said, quote, the recent story coupling a top management party on a boat with the decision to make a management change of Benjamin Moore is completely false. He said, I had never heard of the boat trip prior to reading about it in the paper. There was no reason for you to let me know about the meeting, and if you had, I would have had no objection to it at all. Meanwhile, talking about Bermuda, their appeal as a jurisdiction for startup companies might be diminished due to the country's quest for solvency to equivalents. Solvency II, of course, is the big EU regulatory scheme that's going to put everybody there on a common footing. Uh, Bermuda is not required to monitor it, uh, or I should say to uh, comply with it. They're hardly in Europe, but they are putting together a uh, similar plan in order to assure insurance companies and regulators that, in fact, they uh, do monitor the companies. Fitch says, we feel Bermuda's regulatory framework will, at a minimum, become less flexible as a function, a function of its seeking equivalents, thus reducing its appeal as the preferred location for startup companies. Well, I hope the Internal Revenue Service is not reading that. That's a pretty thinly veiled allusion to uh, the ability for things to be worked out, all regulatory uh, books, so to speak. Meanwhile, in, tank, in China, a tanker truck filled with gasoline has collided with a truck in the southern part of the country, setting off an explosion and a massive fire that left 20 people dead. The 
tanker was carrying 40 tons of gasoline when it crashed into another vehicle early this morning on an expressway outside of Guangzhou City. Listen to this, oil leaked from the tanker truck, triggered an explosion that then set a timber mill on fire that was located under an expressway bridge. Most of the people that were injured and died were in fact workers from the factory. Meanwhile, China this morning released a uh, report saying that a commercial airline pilot that was uh, the pilot of a plane that crashed two years ago and killed 44 people apparently had failed to locate the runway before landing. He then abandoned the plane after it crashed. The state administration of work safety called for the chief pilot to be prosecuted. They also suggested that the airline, Henan Airlines, be fined $800,000 for lax safety management. The 2010 crash killed 44 people and was the country's first major commercial air disaster in about six years. The agency said that the chief pilot violated aviation rules during the descent and did not bother to locate the runway before landing. The Embraer 190 hit the ground at about uh, 2,700 feet short of the runway at the Lindu Airport in Yichun City, burst into flames, killed 44 people, but apparently not the pilot who then walked away from the wreck and was not found for several hours. I don't know how you can land a plane without finding the runway, but he seems to have tried. Stay cool this weekend if you're in the northeastern U.S. Have a good weekend, and we will talk to you on Monday. Thank you for watching.